With security fit for a visiting president, Britain's Foreign Secretary came to inspect the Royal Navy's new base in Bahrain. It's part of a British government push to deepen military and economic ties with the Arab Gulf states, and especially their ruling families. First of all, it's a historic relationship. First of all, we've done it for decades and even two centuries together. And now we're going to continue to do that because of the more challenges are happening. And this is a joint international and regional responsibility. Named HMS Jaffair, the base will service Britain's minesweepers and in due course the two new aircraft carriers now being built. Breaking the ground was a job shared by both countries' foreign secretaries. This may be a largely symbolic ceremony here in Bahrain. There's not much to see yet at the new naval facility. But the foreign secretary says this is Britain's first new permanent military base east of Suez since 1971. Yet to some, Bahrain is an odd choice. It's been wracked by pro-democracy protests, and at their height four years ago, there were serious human rights abuses, which some say continue. I asked Philip Hammond how he justified this close relationship. Bahrain is not perfect by any means, but it at least knows what it has to do, and it is taking steps to do it. In some cases, um, seeking our support uh, to help them reform, for example, uh, their police force, their judicial system, their prison service, um, to gradually improve uh, the standards and bring it closer to what we would expect to see. Britain's growing military commitment to the Gulf is likely to remain controversial. Its opponents and its backers will expect to see progress towards reform. Frank Gardner, BBC News, Bahrain.